Hello everyone, welcome back to Rao Educator Club. So today we'll discuss what is uh, uh, XML stands for and uh, how does it impact on the enterprise. Okay, uh, for the previous video, you can check the description box. We have a playlist on Semantic Web, what it is and what are the business cases for it. Okay, so uh, starting with this, uh, we'll again start it, start with an example. Okay, now let's say you have a customer relationship management, which is uh, which is usually called as CRM. Okay, CRM is nothing but customer relationship management. Okay, now this system, what does it do? It stores the customer data in one format. Okay, suppose we don't go to McDonald's. Okay, they take all your details, right? They ask your name, your number, things. So this is nothing but where are they storing this in? CRM that is customer relationship management they're storing the customer data in one format and you want to integrate it with your sales team so if you have to uh, suppose it's birthday of some person okay your customer or something so you have to send it to the sales team right so uh, you want to integrate it with your sales team that it uses in a dif different format okay you cannot same uh, send the same format to the sales team you have to change the format and then you have to send it right now by using this XML okay that is extensible markup language by using this xml we can use uh, easily map the data between the two systems and they can exchange data seamlessly clear with this clear now let's understand the um, definition okay xml is nothing but it is extensible markup language what is it extensible markup language and what is this used for it is basically used for data storage it is used for storage of data and um, other than data storage it also transports and it also exchanges the data okay now xml basically it is a standard which defines a set of rules for encoding the documents in a format in both human readable and machine readable okay it is changing the format right uh, from uh, suppose from the uh, customer department to the sales team it is sending so what is it doing it is basically encoding the documents in a format that is both human readable and in the and machine readable also so this is nothing but xml that is extensible markup language hope it is clear right thank you so much please like share and subscribe and if you can uh, share it in your friends group where even it will it will be helpful for them too thank you